In this video I'm going to show you briefly how the Fibonacci retracement tool can be applied to a chart to show you points where we're likely to see some support and resistance. Now it it's one of the great one of the great things with the Fibonacci tool is uh and I won't explain to you how it works, but it's kind of it's one of these bizarre calculations that um carry on throughout nature it's it, it's just one of those bizarre things and um, when you see it being applied to a chart and I've removed all the supports and resistances and I'm going to show you something almost quite magical in a second um, just to show you how powerful the Fibonacci tool is um, but what it will show you is points of support and resistance within a particular sort of trend and by doing that it if certainly if you're very new to trading and not you're not used to spotting say supports and resistances by eye it will allow you to show you where those supports and resistances are just through some very clever use of um math and uh the fact that the 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 fibonacci rule it kind of applies throughout nature itself, which is kind of bizarre, but I'll show you to you in a minute. And the other thing with the Fibonacci retracement tool is that if you reach a very strong point of resistance and then we're looking to see a retracement from that, you can use the Fibonacci tool to see where we're likely to see that retracement fall. So let's apply the Fibonacci retracement um, indicator or tool to this chart. So we look at it over over the, the period of, of the trend that we're looking at and then we draw it from top to bottom. So we have this crosshair here showing you where it starts and we start at the very top and then we draw it all the way down to the bottom here. Now, do you see what I see? Now it may not become immediately apparent, but from drawing that trend it's pointed out the bottom of this consolidation here is pointed out the bottom of where it bounced up and then moved upwards and it's also plotting points of retracement now what we can use the retracement tool for is that normally we would say find this out by eye anyway uh, the, but that's sort of more experience you get you would find these out and you look to see where they are anyway but the the great thing with the Fibonacci retracement tool is that if we reach a point of very strong resistance and we know it's likely to retrace in other words fall from a very strong bullish move we can see where the initial targets would are likely to be so we can put our initial risk reward so our reward would be for this retracing would be initially 12 and then if it broke 12 then we could then look towards 11, 11 5 or as we can see here 11 uh, 11 53 and then 11 17 and then 10 81 and so on so the maximum retracement you could expect from this overall trend would be 10 81 that's at the very most and it kind of fits in line with the bottom here which is really bizarre isn't it how how it, how on earth all that works is is incredible so we know that the the maximum reward that we're likely to get in terms of a retracement is 1081 however there are three other points that we can use as a gauge and markers for if we're working out risk reward where if it was actually worth actually entering the trade so the reward should be obviously with any trade much greater than the risk that we're exposing ourselves to and what the Fibonacci retracement tool allows us to do is to gauge where uh, as 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 the Fibonacci tool points out points of recovery from a retracement are likely to be so the first recovery is likely to be around about 1197 the next from there if it breaks through 1197 is likely to be at 1153 and then 1117 and so on and it's an incredibly powerful tool that not only uh, 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 showing you points of support and resistance but obviously in terms of it being a retracement tool as well shows you points where we're likely to see points of recovery within a retracement and by showing you the points of recovery within a retracement we can then use that to gauge the possible 
reward from that retracement that we're likely to get at a bare minimum or a minimum of overall to to the overall reward that we could ever at best expect so you know it gives us a real solid foundation to work out a, um, a a true risk reward it also allows us to gauge where supports and resistances are all very quickly indeed and uh, it's a great great tool and I know many people that use this in combined with supports and resistance in combined with say um, the MACD as well and then you have all those things applied to a chart um, it gives you an incredibly insightful view that combined with the Japanese candlesticks as well an amazing amount of information but not too much information that you get bogged down by the whole uh, mechanics of what you're trying to do it's presenting the information clearly um, and allows you to make a trading decision very quickly indeed so I hope this very short video on the Fibonacci retracement tool shows you its worth and why it uh, and how it sort of has these magical powers enabling to uh, show you where rewards um, uh, points of target for want of a better description within a retracement are likely to be